Hey, survivors. Oh. Uh, hey, survivors. Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4. Does this look infected? Uh, we need to use an antibiotic, I guess. Got plenty of those. Thankfully, don't have any of the herbal stuff, so we're probably going to get reinfected. But, you know, it is what it is. That's the price you pay for not having a nasty, itchy rash. Knew I shouldn't have slept with that uh, wastelander last night, you know. Definitely gave me something. Alright, well... We're heading up to Recon Bunker Theta today. And uh, finding out the next clue on our path to figuring out what the military is after in the Commonwealth. And uh, what package Hotel Romeo, a.k.a. HRD4, is. Of course, if you guys know the story of Frost, uh, please don't spoil it. I'll do my best not to spoil it as well. For those that don't know it, it is quite interesting. But yeah, we're kind of wrapping up the Commonwealth portion of uh, the game here. And it won't be too long before I think we'll be in some new areas. Probably another 5 to 10 episodes at least. I just saw something weird over here. Did you guys see that? Maybe it was nothing. It looked like a, uh, a stealth field, though. Like maybe a chameleon deathclaw or something else. Shouldn't there be a, um... Oh, there's deers here. Did they kill these survivors? Cooking station here, too. I might get out here and cook. Isn't there a... But where did I want to go? Oh, here it is. Isn't there a, um... Thing that pops out here? A rad scorpion? It should be a small one. If it's in frost. Oh, whatever, we're not detected. I guess I'll use this and take my chances. Maybe it's a different area I'm thinking of. I think I have enough wood that I can probably make some food here. I know it's getting dark out, but that's okay. We're going to be heading up to Recon Bunker Theta, and we should be able to sleep there for the night, so it shouldn't be a big deal. I will take some purified water. Um, Whatever. I know it's kind of a waste to make it from blood water, but it's whatever. At this point, I don't care too much. And that's going to be all the wood, pretty much, isn't it? Oh, I need more. Okay. Well, it's quite a bit of food, though. We should be good for a while. And that's quite a bit of weight reduction, too, which is good. We are going up to find out what happened to Isker, who was one of the two smugglers. Well, they were a bunch of smugglers, not just two, but one of the smugglers that is named. The rest of them are not really named, I don't think. Um, that was working with Troy Bishop to smuggle package HRD4 from Oslo? Is Oslo in Canada? I'm not sure. From wherever Oslo is into the U.S. and into U.S. waters and into Boston. This has got to be it right here, right? This is the uh, icon for the bunker. Yeah, it's over here. Thought there was just one there. Ow! It didn't even hurt. I literally took zero damage from that. Just startled me pretty much. He just scared me. With that rat tat tat. Must have been like a pipe rifle or something. So we come up here, and it's already been opened up, and there are dead U.S. Army remnants. I will take your patrolman glasses, thank you very much. Oh, hello, and there's a Themis cultist here. Hey! Excuse me. Right, so now we could not get into this terminal. A couple of pieces of uh, wood here I'll pick up and take with me back there. We couldn't get into this terminal, 
unless we have the uh, the access code, which we got last episode, thankfully, so we can get in. Okay, not seeing anything else too useful here. That's accessible. Okay, let's see what's on the terminal here. User Ganon A, uh, a.k.a. Arthur Ganon, a.k.a. I think Major Arthur Ganon is his rank. Interview transcript from 10-2082, which, um, if we look at the date, it is, uh, 20, oh, it's Christmas! I didn't even know it, guys. It's Christmas today in, uh, in my game. Oh, Merry Christmas to everybody, I guess. Didn't even realize that. Alright, um, yeah, that's what it is. So we're like a month later. Crap, didn't mean to do that. Come on, get through it. Classified information, proceed only with proper authorization. Interview transcript. The following is an audio-to-text transcript of the interviews between interviewer Major Arthur Gannon and alias Iscariot on 10-2082. Start transcript. Interviewer. What was your relation to Troy Bishop? Iscariot. We were smugglers. Trafficked questionable packages for questionable people. He was the head of the operation. I just handled the books. Interviewer. Where is HRD4? Iscariot. What? I don't understand the question. Interviewer. You see that you handled the books. You had direct knowledge of every package on board the FMS Columbia. One of these packages was marked HRD4. Where is HRD4? Iscariot. I don't know the specific item tag. We. Interviewer. We. Iscariot. The crew suspected Bishop was holding out on us, smuggling a little extra on the side and taking full profits for himself. Turns out he was. I snuck into his cabin and found some sketchy documents that mentioned an unmarked package in a specific drop point, the Liberty Six. Interviewer. What happened after you met Bishop at the drop point? Iscariot. The plan was to kill him to finish the job ourselves with equal shares. Thing is, we never found his package. Probably still in the Columbia, for all I know. We just figured he'd taken it and made off without us. But when we got there, he was as clueless as we were. Interviewer. Where is the FMS Columbia? Iscariot. Hell if I know. Interviewer. Where is the FMS Columbia? Iscariot. Look, pal, I've told you everything I know. You can't expect to remember exactly where I was in the middle of a nuclear fucking tsunami. Interviewer. Administer procedure. Iscariot. Unintelligible. Interviewer. Where is the FMS Columbia? Iscariot. No response. Interviewer. This concludes our interview. Private, would you please escort Mr. Isker outside? So they tortured... Um, alias Iscariot, for more knowledge, he found out that, uh, Troy Bishop was smuggling extra stuff on the side and holding out on him, um, and in fact, he did not have knowledge of package HRD4, and that was only something that I think Troy Bishop knew about, he kept it from his men, um, and they were planning to portray him and complete the transaction without him, and, um, that's why they lured him back to the Liberty Six because they thought that maybe he had package HRD4, but he did not. Okay. Personal notes. 9882. This is the personal notes of uh, Major Arthur Gannon. It's been two months and we've had no headway with this thing. The higher-ups are getting edgy. They'd reassign me to Site R to spend my days picking through rocks and writing studies on cockroach mutations. My place is back west with Beth. I just need more time, damn it. The General's inability to pri provide me with any concrete information on this mission is infuriating. He won't even tell me what this package I'm searching for actually is. I'm close to acquiring one of the smugglers that brought it ashore, and although it is not strictly speaking part of the mission, I plan on uncovering the nature of Hotel Romeo. 1016 through 1018 Details Package Hotel Romeo Interviews confirm my suspicions that Hotel R Romeo, package HRD4, is a form of biological weapon. Use of photonic resonation generators confirmed in separate findings, specific documentation transferred to Surveillance Center K21B. How this would benefit a biological weapon is uncertain. Use in conventional explosives could be evidenced for 
enhanced EMP or electrical pulse weaponization, possible false information, interviews to be re reconducted at a later date to test for accuracy. 102082. Package Hotel Romeo pinpointed to smuggler ship FMS Columbia. Alias Iscariot uncooperative in ascertaining location of the FMS Columbia, requesting transfer to Surveillance Center K-21B. Available intel there may aid in our search. Okay, so next clue, next place we gotta go, is Surveillance Center K-21B. Surveillance Report Militant Activity the militant organization Recon Squad Alpha Romeo, encountered last month codenamed Themis, has finally dipped into our district. Alpha Romeo's reports tell us that the group is highly organized, although they have yet to acquire significant stockpiles of weaponry. General Eaton's decision is that RS Alpha Romeo will continue to surveil the Themis operations for the time being, but will not engage unless fired upon. Okay. So we are going to Glowing Sea, down to um, Installation K-21B, which is over in this area, if I remember correctly. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get some sleep here first, though. Pretty late. I'm not a real big fan of sleeping here with the door pried open, but it is a nice bed. There's no rads. So we ought to be okay. So yeah, I'll sleep here for the night and then continue in the morning. Uh, probably go till about six. That way it's light out again. And then we're going to be heading down back to the glowing sea. Um, I might swing down by our base first at Valenti Station. In fact, I think that's probably the best thing I can do. Maybe pick up the stuff I left over at... Um, that red rocket station, um, oh, my, my thing disappeared, didn't it? It did. Oh, because I moved it. I'm a moron. I put it over there. It's, a, it's no problem. Though. I remember where it was. Um, I left a bunch of missiles and stuff right over here, like in this area right here. So I'm going to go over there. It's not too far away. Um, I'll just go down through this way and pick those up and then head back into Valenti Station um, through the... Um, hmm, probably go... probably cross over on the Liberty, go across there, then make my way down to Boston Airport Ruins, go in through there, go back into Valenti, um, go cook all, all the meat and stuff I have, drop off the things I don't want, pick up the missiles that I want to take with me, probably carry them by hand, over to, um, probably, I guess I did have Coast Guard Pier still marked. I was just looking in the wrong place. I didn't have it zoomed out far enough. I'm a moron. That was an episode or two ago. But anyway, probably going to go to, um, I don't know, Mass Pack Interchange is a, is a possibility, but... The weather there was really sucky last time. I want a place that has beds, pretty much, is my thing. I also want to take on Fort Hagen, which is over here as well. I think Fort Hagen is up over in here. So, yeah, maybe Mass Pike Interchange is where I'll go. And then we'll take on Fort Hagen with the rocket launcher and stuff. And Fort Hagen is going to be the most challenging of all of my, all of my excursions, probably. Even compared to the Glowing Sea, Fort Hagen's going to be harder. It's going to be the hardest part of the Commonwealth. So I'll probably bring the minigun and a whole bunch of ammo for that and stuff as well. But, um... First, we have to go back home. So, while we're up here, maybe I'll kind of explore around this area a little bit. Uh, just to get this area kind of explored, get all the stuff. I didn't actually explore Sanctuary too much, so... I think I explored Sanctuary at all, actually. So I think I'll go over there real quick and check it out since we're in the area, and we're not going to be able to go back. Crap, didn't mean to eat both of those. Oh well. My finger twitched. So yeah, that's the plan. Eventually we'll go back down that way, but uh, yeah, first I'll explore around here a little bit. 
Mostly just looking for any ghouls or bears or whatever to kill. That would normally be a behemoth in the, the main game, I think. There's often a behemoth that spawns back here. Pretty scary. It was actually amazing when I found that in, in uh, the regular game for the first time. Just a behemoth walking back through here. When I was up on, on my way to find Brandis up here. Paladin Brandis for uh, Paladin Dance Quest. I guess it's more of a generic Brotherhood quest on a Paladin Dance quest, but you know what I mean. So yeah, that's the plan. Uh, go explore around this area a little bit more, and then go down south and uh, get my stuff out of that red rocket. Already... Excuse me. Oh, did he bite your arms off? Poor ghoul. Didn't want him to get the experience. Can I walk on this? No, it looks like I can't. This see some of the some of the ice. No, I can't. I can't walk on this. Never mind. All the ice works properly. Oh, okay. Didn't used to, but now it does, I guess. I am getting short on water, so... What have, what have I gotten? I've gotten three levels so far. I just pumped Endurance, and... Uh, or no, I just pumped Sneak. I was pumping Endurance, yeah. I was on my way to pump Endurance. Um, let's see here. I want to get the the higher level ones, which is ghoulish and soul powered, solar powered. Um, this one is going to be essential for when we go to a certain area. Like without it, I mean, it's really tough. So rad damage will uh, restore your health and heal you, basically. Like if you take rad damage, you'll regenerate health, and uh, eventually your rad damage will get removed. Like it's just it's just auto heal. Like that's what it is. It's just auto heal. It's really really good. This one is good too, solar powered, gives you um, regen on your radiation damage and your health. Both of these are going to be must-haves, so I'm going to go ahead and do endurance training. So I need both of these, um, so we're going to need um, probably ghoulish first, I think is the better one. But yeah, we're going to need two more... No, three more points for that, and then three points for that. So six more levels for that. Then I'll definitely want Lead Belly 2, probably. And, um... Yeah, that way we can just drink and eat like anything, pretty much, and it won't matter too much. That'd be the idea. Because where we're going, we're not going to have our nice stockpile of stuff. It's kind of the point of the uh, Commonwealth portion. And why I don't rush it too much. Because I'm trying to get strong so that when I, you know, go and do some stuff in another place, um, I'll be strong enough to do it without dying. I can finish my permadeath run. Otherwise, it doesn't go very well. Recall there being a bear up here. Not sure if that carries over to the uh, frost or not from the base game. Maybe it's a random event and we got the three dead guys instead. Ooh, five food paste. Very nice. All right. Well, I'll take that then, I guess. Pretty much on the edge up here. Stealth Boy was too much. 
Don't need an IED or that. Those are both not very good explosive weapons. I think we can't really go up here. Are we going to hit the um, invisible wall up here? Yeah. Yeah, I cannot go that way. That's what I thought. But my immersion will be okay. Oh yeah, there's a sentry bot and some there's some gunners here in the base game. Should be oh okay, that's fine too. Should be some sentry bots and stuff up here. Bots and survivors and some death claws back here too. At least one, maybe two. This is uh I don't recall what this place is. Oh this is um Right, this is Outpost uh, Zamonja. <laughs> Y'all are not very nice survivors, though, are you? Oh. oh, shit. It was a kid. Oh, man, I shot him right in the heart, too. God, I'm such a bastard. I could- I- I'm sorry, kid. I didn't know. Oh, it was a Timmy. I killed Timmy. I'm sorry, Timmy. I didn't mean to. My finger just- my, my trigger finger was just, you know, was already- already pulling the trigger. This is really cool. I like this a lot. He just stood over here. He's got the fat man, doesn't he? No, he's gonna... Never mind. Doesn't have it in this, I guess. Large backpack. Very nice. And we have Rolf's journal over here. I mean, I'm gonna feel bad whenever I find out about Rolf's kid that I just killed, most likely. Um, I did something similar to this. When I did a build of Outpost Simonja, I built it up like this, kind of, although I did a much bigger build around it. I had the same idea to kind of build around this thing. It's really, really cool. I like it a lot. I guess how I kind of envisioned this should be built up. Let's take a look at Rolf's journal. It's realistic, though. Like, you know, in a firefight like that, Stuff happens, you know? That I accidentally killed Timmy there. I dreamt I was climbing the belfry of an ancient cathedral. Above me chimed the bells, as if to warn me of some nameless horror looking outside. As I made that final ascent, pulling myself to the summit and peering out, over the balcony I saw a city consumed in flames. I can see it now in my mind's eye, flickering like the candle before me. Surely this is a bad omen. Wonder if I was a nameless horror. Considering what I just did and all that. Alright, um, so I can't use this cooking bench, unfortunately. If I do, I'll get access to it or it'll just kill me instantly. One or two. Neither of those are acceptable, so... There is a cooking station here, though, so maybe I can cook some stuff over here. That'll work out. That'll do, that'll do. We're not insane yet. It's okay. There are just mannequins. Like, someone had, like, a mannequin... Like, that was their thing. They just hide mannequins around in places randomly like that. I guess the point here was to make it look like peop there were more people here than there were. Maybe? I don't know. There's the airplane over here, too, we can check out, right? 
I don't think I've been there yet. I wanted to do that with dirty water, not the boiled water. Yeah, do that. Um, do that. Venison. That's all we can do for now. Must find more wood. I don't know, I wonder how hard it would be to have like a hatchet add-on that you could just like smack a tree and it gives you a little bit of wood that you can use to burn to uh, make food. Seems like that would be pretty realistic. Gonna have to use some drugs, aren't I? I've got four purified. Yeah, I should be okay. Some buff tats, that should be good enough for now. Okay, I'll do the the um, area down there in a little bit. I want to go up here and check out the gunner encampment as well as the uh, spot that has the two death claws in it. Death claws should be like right here, I think. It's like a little, little ravine they're in, I'm pretty sure. a small settlement. This is uh, Zamonja, right? It's one of these areas up here. I think. It's where you found the death claws at. Nice bed there if I need to sleep for the night. That's good. As long as we don't get a rad storm, I should be okay to sleep. There it is. Maybe it's further out than what I'm thinking of over here. I thought it was over here, though. You, Man, you scared me a little bit. You scared me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Gave me a bit of a start there. I could take this bottle and just fill it here and then cook it with this irradiated water. I guess I had multiple bottles on me I could have used, but uh, yeah, I could do that and use my filter up that way. Give some purified water, because then, like, I'm. There's not much difference really between purified and boiled water. Like, functionally, there's not much difference. You get a little bit of rads from the boiled water, but you should be drinking booze anyway, so... Shouldn't really matter. Okay, right, so... Where am I thinking of? This goes to north. Is it further south? Maybe it's further south. There's no other highways like this. It's got to be along this highway somewhere that there's a uh, ravine. Oh, there's a guy up there. Oh, a ghoul. But there is a ravine with two death claws fighting. And then somewhere around there also you can find I want to say a, a gunner encampment that has a sentry bot and some decent loot as well. I don't know, maybe it's not up here. Maybe I'm just remembering things wrong. It's possible. But I could get up here if I wanted to, doing a jetpack jump. So there's the... Yeah, no, there's the... Oh, 
Oh, is this it? Well, no, this is the this is a gunner encampment, but this is uh, a different one. This is the one I usually go to in Horizon right away. It's like a turret up here. A couple random survivors, probably. Got a big boy over here. I'm gonna probably do have two shots for this. I'm gonna probably use some psycho buff too. There we go. Oh my god, it's so slow. Hey, some wood, very nice. This is cool. It's like an actual couple vices with a weapons workbench. Can uh, straighten out your weapon barrel if it gets bent or something, you know, if you screw it up real bad. Maybe uh, file off the rust if you need to. Can sleep over here too if we need as well. This goes up as well. I want to check this sentry bot and see what he's got on him. Well, it's a lot of missiles, isn't it? Oh yeah, I gotta drink something. Where to put these missiles? Right over there. I hear somebody up there too. Nice, some purified water. I am getting kind of low on water. I'm not as worried about the food as I am the water. That's cool. A couple wood over there. Definitely can use that. I heard them up here, I just know where they are. Gotta be inside here, right? Hello? You pulled iron on me, lady. I couldn't risk it. You pulled iron. What you get? Cooking stove? No, I can't use it. Oh, more wood, though. Good, very good. This is a cool little uh, little home here. I like it. We could have been friends, lady. Nah, never mind. We couldn't have been. I would have just killed you and taken your stuff, probably. I don't know. I never kill anybody that's not red, you know? Or I try not to. Except for Timmy's that get in the way on accident. There's a big old Sandy Lost right there. It's pretty rough. There's a, uh, yeah, it's a nice laser rifle here, too. I don't know if it always spawned. Ooh, that's a nice sniper rifle. Yeah, it's pretty good. I may hold on to that because I need some I need some plinking rounds for the random survivors. Blowing them up with the uh, laser cells is kind of a bit much. This is nice though. 
not quite perfect, but it's very, very good. I don't know if I can carry everything, though. Um, no, not that. Probably drop a core here. Do it like that, and I'll just use this, um, this thing for a while. Put this onto... This on a three for now. This can go to four. I don't have any ammo for this, do I? No, I don't have any ammo for that. It's even suppressed. Yeah, we'll just use this for a while. All right, so yeah, I don't know where the... Um, I'm not sure where I'm thinking of. Thought it was up here, but I, I guess maybe not. Maybe the death claws don't always spawn too, I don't know. It's possible as well. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to go over and check out... I didn't do the Superman landing. I guess I slowed myself down enough with that little spurt of jetpack. I wanted to go and check out the plane over here. I didn't go through here yet. Probably should be some good ammo and stuff inside of the master lock in the smuggler thing or whatever. Be either ghouls or survivors or both. Maybe just robots. Or maybe nothing here? That's surprising. usually see at least something here. Really? Huh, did my, um... Yes. Did my add-on break? Or was that Sweet. one just bugged or something? Oh, that's weird. I mentioned it in the last one too, but I got an add-on that basically lets... It basically makes these really easy to, to unlock because I can't break a lock pick now at this point, so... There's not much point in me sitting there editing out video all the time. That's what it comes out, uh, out down to, guys. It's, it's not like... It's not more difficult or anything. It just means I have to spend more time editing video. There's a chunk of a survivor here. Maybe I was over here, but I couldn't carry stuff. So I just left him. Or maybe I... I don't know. Got a lot of 5.56 ammo, too. Maybe they fought each other and they all just died? I don't know. I don't understand what happened. Oh! Nice sniper rifle there, too. Which I can't carry. Oh man, real nice sniper rifle. 308 receiver. I don't have a lot of 308 ammo though. Oh, there's gotta be somebody up there. I just heard them. I just heard them lighting up a cigarette. Your cigarette gave you away, sir. All right, let's see what's in the hidden compartment. Should be a bunch of good shit in here, like a gauze rifle, probably. Bunch of ammo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, boys. We got the good stuff here. Nice combat shotguns. Really nice um, laser pistol here. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I don't have room for it all, though. But anyways, guys, I think we're going to probably end the episode here. Uh, we're going on about 40 minutes now. I don't want to go too much past that. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.